In this video, I will be sharing with you how to create a simple long sleeve clothing top for Daz 3D Genesis 8 male figure. Also how a basic UV map can be created in ZBrush at the very same time. Let's get started. We will first load the Genesis 8 male development version in DAS Studio. Make sure Genesis 8 male is selected. Now click on the Go Z icon to export the figure to ZBrush. Leave the export options as they are and click Accept. Go Z will now export the figure and open ZBrush if it is not already opened. To load the Genesis male figure in ZBrush, click and drag on canvas area. Hold the Shift key while dragging to snap the figure to the right angle. Click on the edit button so that we can work on the figure. Click on the frame button to fit the figure to the canvas area. Zoom in onto the upper body area of the figure where we want the top to be created. We will now mask out the shape for the top with the mask lasso tool. Click on the X key to turn symmetry on so that we can mask both sides at the same time. We will mask out the area we want for the top now by click and drag while holding the control key. Make sure to mask out an area that is slightly larger than the top we want to create. You will find out why later. Once we are happy with the shape of the mask, we will extract the base mesh for the top. Look for the Extract tool under the Subtool panel. Turn off Double Option. Set the thickness to zero and also turn off T border. With all that set, click Extract. A new mesh will be created from our mask. Notice we do not see any new mesh created in the subtool area. That is because we will need to click Accept in order to create the new mesh. The extracted mesh is now created as a new subtool. Click on the line fill icon to turn on the wireframe. Hold the control key and drag on the empty area of the canvas to clear the mask. Take note that the new extracted mesh is the exact replica of the Genesis figure. This mesh cannot be redistributed exactly as it is unless it is remeshed. We will fix that later. We will now project the clothing mesh to the figure with the project all function. I have the project all key on my user interface, but you will be able to find it in the subtool panel. Click on that. We will now inflate the mesh slightly so that it do not stick to the body. Locate the inflate function in the deformation panel. Let's give it a value of two. I also have this placed in my customized user interface. Notice the border and edges of the mesh are rather jagged. We will adjust and clean up that up with the Move tool. There's no need to be too precise for now because we will need to do some more touch up later. Special attention needs to be paid on the armpit area because there usually be intercepted polygons at this area created due to the inflating. We will smooth it out slightly by holding the shift key. 
Fix the poke through with the move tool by holding the Alt key. We will now mark out the sleeves area. We will do that with the slice curve tool. The symmetry function do not work on the slice tool, but I'll just leave it on for now. We will do the slicing on the right side of the figure or left side of the screen. Start slicing by holding the control and shift key. Press the alt key to create a curve. We are doing the slicing on the left because Z remesher seems to only take the left side of the mesh as reference when performing symmetry remeshing. Now we will mark out the collar area. Use the move tool to adjust the collar to shape. This looks okay. Let's remesh it now. I also have the Z remesher in my user interface. It can also be found under the geometry panel. Make sure the keep groups function is selected. Leave the rest of the setting as it is. Click on Z Remesher. There will be poke throughs after the remesh, but that can be fixed later. The polygon count seems to be a bit too high. Let's remesh it again, but with half of the existing poly count. The poly count looks okay now. We will project the mesh to the figure again. Remember the project all function can be found under the subtool panel. We will now inflate the mesh again with the setting set to 2. Let's check the mesh especially the armpit area. We are going to smooth up the mesh now so that it is not that tight fitting. Pay close attention to the borders. Click on the Polish slider, which can also be found in the deformation panel. Notice the mesh shrinks slightly after applying the polish function. This is why we need to mask out a slightly larger area before extracting the mesh. Use Move tool to fix the poke through. It seems like there are some intercepting polygons at the armpit area. Let's fix this by masking up the problem area. Hold the control key and click on the masked area to soften the mask border. Invert the mask to work on only the problem area. Hold on to the shift key to smooth out the area. Use move tool to fix the poke through again.
Both armpit are now fixed. We will now create a UV map for the clothing top. We will do that with the unwrap tool. You can find it in UV Master under the Z plugin panel. Make sure the symmetry and polygroup are selected. Click Unwrap. Let's have a look at the created UV map. Look for the flatten key under the UV Master panel. Click on it. That will flatten the mesh and this is also how the UV map for the top will look. We will now bring but the mesh with the unflatten key. The base for the top looks fine. We will now bring the top we just created to DAS Studio. Click on the Go Z button. We will leave the import options as they are, but I prefer to uncheck the Convert to Subdivision Surface option for now. Click Accept. The mesh have been imported with the name Extract Zero. We will change that. Let's delete the mesh and go back to ZBrush again. Do not go back to ZBrush using the Go Z button. We will now rename the mesh. Open up the Subtool panel. Select the top mesh. Click on the Rename button. We will name it G8M Top Base. Let's export it to Daz Studio with GoZ again. Click Accept. Notice the mesh name have changed. At this stage, the clothing is not ready yet. Let's load a pose to the figure and see what happens. The clothing is not following the figure which is also no as not conforming to the figure. Let's undo the pose and fix that. Select the clothing mesh. Locate the transfer utility icon and activate it. Select Genesis 8 male for the source figure and G8M top base for the target figure. We will then select full body under the projection template. Click on show option. I will usually leave the options as they are. I will also leave the add smoothing modifier uncheck at this stage. We will check the content type and look for the correct content type under the drop down menu. In this case, it will be follower, wardrobe, shirt. Then click Accept. Notice the base mesh disappear from the scene panel list. It is actually conformed to the Genesis 8 figure now. You will be able to see it once you expand the list. Now, we will load the poses onto the figure again. Great. The top now follows the figure. We will now save the clothing top we created to the content library. Browse to the clothing folder. Right-click on it to create a new subfolder. We will call it 2021 Clothing Base then click OK. Under the 2021 Clothing Base folder, we will create another folder called Top. So far so good. But the next question is, how are we going to save the clothing? I was unable to find any save function in the list of preset options under the folder panel when I try to save my first clothing creation. To save any clothing item, we will have to go to File, Save As, Support Asset, Figure or Prop Asset. We will then have to locate our content folder in our DAS Libraries folder and look for the folder we want to save the clothing item. Some of you might not know where your content folder is. Here is another way to do it. 
Right-click on the top folder which we just created and select Browse to Folder Location. You will now be able to copy down the folder location. Navigate to Figure, Prop, Assets again to open up the Save Option window. Paste in the folder location info we just copied and press Enter. We are now at the folder where we want to save our clothing. We will save it as G8M Top Base. Vendor name will usually be the name you want to sell or share your creation as. A folder will be created using this name to store all the related data for your content. The product name will be the name for your clothing collection which you would like to group your clothing under. In this case, it will be 2021 Clothing Base. Finally, the item name, which will be automatically filled up if you are creating a new item. Click Accept. The clothing is now saved into our folder in the content library. Some of you might find that this clothing project is a bit too simple. There were no seam or hem detail at all. What we created is just a clothing base which we can use to create variations of tops with slight modification. In the upcoming video, I will share with all of you how we can add simple trim and hem details to this base within ZBrush. Before I end this video, do you still remember the UV map we created in ZBrush? Let's have a look. Select UV view in the viewport. Select view by node. Although the UV map is created for the top, there are actually some issues with it which we need to take note and fix before using it. We will talk about them in my upcoming video. This is the end of the video. If you enjoy it, please hit the like button. I'll see you in the next video. Wishing you the best of luck with your creations.